Do you want more subscribers? Do you want to learn the secret to grow on YouTube? Hey Brainwashed friends, I'm Aaron Tupaz of Positively Brainwashed, and in this video, I'm going to share with you guys 10 big tips on how to gain 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. You know what? Time out. This video is special. Alright? First, wow. You know, I'm still trying to process that I brainwashed 10,000 people positively. You know, that's got to be more people than I met in real life. So, you know, big thanks. Uh, I really mean it. You know, I know it sounds cliche, but without you guys, there wouldn't be a channel. Now, if you're a YouTuber or you're interested in becoming one, and believe me, it's not too late, then stick around until the end of this video because I'm giving away free access to my ebook, 50 Big Tips to Improve Your YouTube Channel. Normally, it's priced at $19.99, but just for you guys, as a thanks for watching, it's going to be free. So let's begin. Tip number one, if you want to become a YouTuber and actually grow, then you first need to choose the right niche for you. Because you can follow all the great tips in the world, but if you don't get this right, then your foundation will be no good. So I suggest that you follow these three guidelines. Number one, you got to make videos that you actually love and are actually passionate about. You know, Steve Jobs said, the only way to do great work is to love what you do. Next, you gotta make videos that you're an expert in. Otherwise, you won't have credibility. I'm not gonna make a video on how to gain 100,000 subscribers because I've never done it. And lastly, you gotta make videos that are in demand or not saturated because real talk. Otherwise, you're not gonna find an audience to watch them. Tip number two is to practice good YouTube SEO. Now I can be a nerd on this and talk about it for hours, but this includes optimizing your title, writing long detailed descriptions, researching your tags, and all that good stuff. There's still way too many YouTubers who neglect this. This isn't 2006 where you can just upload yourself eating a banana in a bridge position, going down the stairs, and then expecting to get 86,000 views, and then going to work the next day and your boss telling you he watched your video. Tip number three is to use the right tools. They say a dog is a man's best friend. Well, TubeBuddy is a YouTuber's best friend. You can use TubeBuddy for numerous things like researching your tags and keywords, knowing when's the best time to upload, to even knowing where your competitors are posting on Reddit. The point is you're at a big disadvantage if you're not using TubeBuddy. Tip number four is to thank every supporter. And that starts with replying back to every comment. If someone takes the time to watch one of my videos and write something, then I'm going to take the time to write something back. So I want to thank every single viewer who's ever given me feedback, even if they didn't like my videos. And I also want to take the time to thank my four patrons who help support this channel. I want to thank Adam of AskAdamTorres.com. I want to thank Matthew. I want to thank Romain. If you guys like cars, then you guys got to check out his Facebook fan page. And I want to thank Julian from Far From Average. He does whiteboard animations like me, and he has a lot of potential, so check him out. Tip number five, you have to understand what's relative audience retention and overall watch time session. You have to understand that YouTube is a business. Their goal is to keep viewers like you engaged and ready to watch the next video. So you have to try to find a way to make your viewers watch the entire video. If you guys have watched the endings of my videos, there's a reason why I ask a multiple choice question and keep option D a mystery until the last few seconds. It's so you watch the entire video. Similarly, it's the same reason why I ethically bribed you guys early on with my free ebook. So you guys have to find a way very early on to give incentives to your audience, like hinting them towards the best part of your video towards the end. But of course, you guys can't bore your audience, so make sure you put good parts in the beginning and middle as well. Tip number six is to network with other YouTubers. There's lots of ups and downs being a YouTuber, and you don't need to do it alone. So get to know others, especially those in your niche, like comment on other videos, or join forums like the YT Talk. That's actually how I met this handsome fellow, Brandon from 1% Better, when I barely had 300 subs. And if you guys don't know Brandon, well, he makes whiteboard animations like me, but focuses more on book summaries. And I encourage you guys to check him out because he was able to grow to 25,000 subscribers in one year, which is like crazy. Also, I want to thank him because he was the first person to say that I was going to make it to 10K subscribers when I didn't believe it yet. 
He's one of the reasons I was able to grow because I studied channels like his. This brings me to tip number seven, learn from the Titans. I believe it was Tony Robbins who said to model yourself after successful people because success leaves clues. So follow people like Roberto Blake, Tim Schmoyer, or Daryl Eves. These people know what they're talking about. So join their Facebook groups, retweet them, and hop on any opportunity you can to get to know them. Like I hopped onto a live video chat twice on Blab with Roberto Blake when I had just 200 subs, which accelerated my learning curve. Now, they are very busy people. They can be difficult to get a hold of, but there are rising YouTube experts like Nick Nimmin and Brian G. Johnson. Now, I couldn't decide which of the three pictures he sent me to use, so I'm putting all three. Tip number eight is to become more efficient with your time. For example, when you first get started, experiment with a lot of different ways on how to promote. But as soon as you start seeing results, then start to focus and double down on what works and then reduce or even completely cut out what isn't helping you much. This is basically applying Pareto's 80-20 rule. Like for me, it was Twitter at first giving me the most traffic, so I spent most of my time there. But then I came across Brandon's post in the YT Talk forum, and there he shared some great tips on Reddit. Now at that time, Reddit was a strange and scary place for me. So I only spent a little bit of my time there. But as soon as I started seeing results on Reddit much greater than Twitter, I quickly started to shift more and more of my time there. Tip number nine is to do collaborations. I've seen a lot of YouTubers grow rapidly this way. You could even grow more than 10,000 subscribers overnight with this method. Now I've personally not started doing collaborations yet for one main reason. And that's because I see it like winning a lottery. They say 70% of lottery winners, or some number like that, go broke after five years. And that's because they never really understood how money works. So if you gain 10,000 subscribers overnight because you did a collaboration with like PewDiePie or someone huge, or they gave you a shout out, or you uploaded a video that went viral, you might not be able to handle the momentum. Now I've seen a lot of YouTubers plummet in views and subscribers, and it can get very depressing when your stats are going downhill like that. So in my opinion, you know, you can collaborate your way to the top, but I think it's better when you learn the foundations first. But with that said, I'm finally opening my doors for collaborations. So moving forward, you might see other faces on this channel. So if you're in my niche, or you just want to create a win-win situation, or you just want to network, then feel free to message me. My last tip is on persistence. Now I'm sure you've heard this a thousand times, but there really is no magic formula for success. Once you start seeing results, you just gotta keep going and going. In fact, my entire channel is based on my seven step system to have endless motivation. I wanted to design a system that would eliminate my procrastination and maximize my productivity. I wanted to originally write a book, but then I realized that I could impact more people if I created a YouTube channel. You know, I often think of success like chopping a big tree down with an axe. Nothing will really happen if you just give it a few whacks, but if you keep hitting the same spot again and again, the impossible becomes possible. Now, if you're still waiting for the free ebook, well, here's the promo code to get your 100% discount. The link will be in the descriptions below. Of course, you're free to share this video, but please don't share the code. I've been updating this book for the last six months. I put my entire heart into it. I picked apart the brains of many YouTube gurus and experts, so if you try all the steps and you're not able to get 10,000 subscribers, I promise to give you a full refund. Now to my subscribers, I'd appreciate it if you write a comment below telling me how you found me, what you learned from this channel, or just to say hi. There's a lot of you that's quiet or shy. And if you're a YouTuber, let me know if these tips were helpful to you. And as usual, choose one of the following. You can either A, subscribe and like, B, listen to the share bear over there and show that you care. C, watch this video that YouTube is recommending for you. Or D, tell me to never go on camera again.